My special guest today is Angie Collins Burke. You have a book, it's called Just Pick Up the Peg. And um, let's just start by going back to 2013. And let's just start the story from there. What happened to you in 2013? I was healthy, I was active, and just out of the blue on September the 23rd, 2013, I suffered a large stroke. Was there any indication at all that this would happen? Up until a few days before, no, but I did have what I thought was a migraine, mm -hmm. um, but it wasn't. And um, it turned out that I had what's called a, a carotid dissection. So a tear had formed in one of my carotid arteries and a blood clot formed unbeknownst to me and traveled up to my brain and boom, I had the stroke. I can't even imagine how this was for you at that time. It was a double-edged sword. Um, because I was a nurse, it was good because I understood what was happening and what they were telling me, but it was bad because I understood what was happening and what they were telling me. Uh, so there were good and bad aspects to it, but it was interesting and challenging to go from the helper to the one in the bed feeling helpless and from dealing with crisis after crisis to now experiencing crisis after crisis. This happens to you and obviously it's, catastrophic and life-changing. How do you go from that to where you are today? So that's kind of part of the premise of Just Pick Up the Peg is the story of my journey um, and where I started to ultimately where I have ended up. Uh, it was my hope by sharing my journey that it would not only give stroke survivors hope, but really anybody that has experienced a health crisis or lives with a chronic illness to know that um, despite the challenges that you can move on and you can live a healthy, rich, fulfilling life. Now, it hasn't been an easy journey. Can you just describe some of the things you went through? One of the main things that I went through is I went through a major depression and I actually did have to be hospitalized for that. It spiraled so bad. So that was one of the challenges. Um, I do have epilepsy now, so I had to learn to deal with the fear of having seizures and, and living with that challenge. I do have a brain injury now, and so I struggle sometimes. And that presents challenges when I go into public because I have an invisible disability. And I actually talk about that and highlight that in the book that just because a person may look perfectly fine on the outside uh -huh. does, not does not necessarily mean that they're perfectly fine on the inside. Before your stroke, you were a nurse at Ross Memorial Hospital. And what did you like about that? I absolutely loved being a nurse. To have a career where I left knowing that I had helped at least one person that day and that I was making a difference and Unfortunately, my stroke did end my career, and that played a large role into throwing me into a depression because I felt in my heart that that's what my life's purpose was, and to lose that actually threw me into a, an identity crisis mm -hmm. to try and figure out who am I now and what do I now do. And how would you describe your life today? My life today is completely different than it was before. And when I first had my stroke and for several months after, I kept saying, I just want my old life back. I just want my old life back. And that didn't happen. But I learned eventually that it's okay. That although my life is different than it was, and it wasn't kind of the course that I had planned for my life, ultimately it's okay. And before I let you go, Angie, who can benefit from this book? My opinion is uh, stroke survivors or anyone who has experienced a health crisis can benefit from this book. Also, friends, family, caregivers, and healthcare workers can benefit from this book, uh, specifically those who have a stroke survivor in their life uh, because it can offer insight into what stroke experience is through our eyes from both my journey and from uh, the journeys of the people who have helped write the last chapter of the book. I just want to take a minute to thank my family, specifically my husband for sticking with me through this journey. I, 
I haven't always made it easy. And for my friends also who have been my sounding board and supported me through both the good times and the bad times, I wouldn't be here today without them. Thank you so much. And I wish you all the success in your book. And again, you can buy, just pick up the peg on Amazon.